Bom, welcome back to Digital Solution of our NEET mock on new pattern of test. We have already discussed section A of mock 9 powered by platform. On continuation of mock 9, we will be dealing with section B here, consists of 15 questions you know. After several concerns over the marking of optional questions in NEET UG 2021, the National Test Agency has responded to queries only the first 10 attempt questions from out of 15 will be considered for evaluation in section b the paper will be having optional questions for the first time in in, in section b of all subjects and students are not expected to add a more than 10 questions here my recommendation goes to all sincere neat appearing candidates you don't add a more than 10 questions at all and avoid marking extra questions. You just choose only 10 questions of each subject from this section and start practicing to make you fit for the new pattern accordingly. You will find two separate video solution of each section in this channel platform education. Let us have a look the first questions of the section for the simulation and the first question is you know section b the big question here the student you know all the students are asking uh, what type of questions will be taken from this section but as per my knowledge concern i think this section consists of uh, questions from the reduced syllabus as well as deleted syllabus of cbsc board more or less five to six questions maybe may have taken from the deleted syllabus of the uh, cbsc board and the questions uh, let us move to the questions you know the first questions uh, 30 question number 36 uh, the average power dissipated in ac circuit to what if the current flowing through a circuit is two ampere and impedance is one ohm what is the power factor of ac circuit power factor of ac circuit power factor of ac circuit you know it is cos phi phi is the phase difference and power electric power p equal to v into i into cos phi or we can write this equation it is actually i square z into cos phi so cos phi is the power factor it is actually p by i square into z and p given in this problem is 2 watt and the current in this problem that is rms current it is it is also 2 ampere that is to square and the impedance of this circuit is 1 ohm that is it is 1 1 and it is the, uh, the power factor is uh, becomes half and the correct option matches with 2 and this problem is taken from the deleted syllabi that is alternating current you know next problem let us see the next problem next problem is uh, 37 the breakdown in reverse bias pn junction doubt is more likely to occur due to large velocity of minority carriers if the doping concentration is small large velocity of minority carriers if the doping concentration concentration is large strong electric field in the depletion region if the doping concentration is small so doping in the case of the in the case of the uh, breakdown if we want to break, break down condition of the uh, semiconductor diode then uh, doping must be the large so small doping is not uh, small doping is not the correct option here and all the all all of these it is also not the correct option here 
So because of the you know large velocity of minority carriers, if we put a high electric field across the semiconductor diode in reverse bias condition, so the minority carrier will get up the accelerated uh, with a greater velocity and that will, stri that will strike the uh, atoms uh, re resulting in an ionization and produce some secondary electrons and we can in this way you can get the huge number of uh, uh, carrier electrons current, uh, current conducting electrons in this case and the right option here is uh, 2. Um, let us move to the next problem. Uh, the condition under which the micro oven heats up food can uh, food item containing water molecules most efficiently you know if the if the, uh, if the frequency of the micro uh, micro oven uh, that is the way produced by the micro oven and if this micro oven uh, resonates with the um, uh, frequency natural frequency of the molecules water molecules then it will it will um, uh, it will work effectively uh, so let us see the option given here the frequency of the microwaves must match with resonant frequency of the water molecule so first option is here it is also it is the right statement uh, the frequency of the microwave has no relation with the natural frequency of water molecules it is not uh, the uh, correct statement here microwaves are heat waves so always produce heating uh, definitely microbes uh, are the heat waves but uh, uh, so always produce heating it is not it is it is the true statement uh, partly true statement but not the right answer if we want to get the uh, if we want to get the microwaves works effectively then the frequency of microwaves uh, must be uh, resonate with the frequency of the natural frequency of a water molecule so right option here is one next problem The de Broglie wavelength associated with material particle when is accelerated through a potential difference 150 volt. De Broglie will wavelength with a material particle. So de Broglie wavelength, de Broglie wavelength associated with moving particle. lambda equal to you know h by p and it is h by root over 2 m k k here is the kinetic energy k here is the kinetic energy I think this material, uh, this particle is the charged particle because this charged particle is accelerated by the potential difference of 150 volt. Okay. So, if this charged particle is accelerated through the potential, we can say the kinetic energy of the charged particle is equal to QV. V is the potential difference through which the charged particle is accelerated. That is kinetic energy acquired by the charged particle from the electric field. Okay and lambda finally becomes lambda finally would be this is 2 m q v so simply you can say lambda varies as root over v that is the potential difference of the electric field through which the charged particle is accelerated and because of that uh, charged particle uh, uh, the, we can, uh, sorry sorry we can get the deeper ugly wavelength of the moving particle that is moving charged particle okay and here the question is asked what will be the lambda prime by lambda because of the potential v by v prime and here potential in the case uh, it is given 150 volt and potential for the second case it is 4500 and the result finally root over of 30 so lambda prime is equal to lambda by root 
30 and lambda given in the problem in the first case is 1 Armstrong so 1 by root over 30 Armstrong the right option here matches with 2 and let's see the next problem question number uh, sorry question number 39 it is uh, taken from the dual nature of wave uh, dual nature of particle it is also taken from the deleted part of the syllabus for this year next problem two particles of medium disturbance wave propagation are at x1 uh, x1 equal to 0 and x2 is equal to 1 centimeter respective displacement of the particle can be given by the equation so at x1 equal to x1 equal to 0 uh, the wave equation progressive wave equation here 2 sin 3 pi t and the second case the when the distance is 1 centimeter the displacement of the particle it is given 2 sin 3 pi t minus pi by 8 so because of the uh, because you know 0 to 1 centimeter if the separation between two point is 1 centimeter so their space differs space differs by pi by 8 as per the equation given this is very interesting question it is taken from the uh, progressive wave you know so uh, we know we know we know uh, uh, phase difference phase difference pi equal to twice pi by lambda into path difference into path difference let us say it is x so phase difference path difference from 0 to 1 centimeter that path difference is 1 centimeter in the at uh, the path of wave and phase difference since these two equation at x equal to 0 and x2 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 x1 equal to 0 and x2 equal to 1 centimeter and the equation is uh, 3 pi uh, 3 pi t minus pi by 8 so between these two equation uh, these two equation have the phase difference is pi by 8 uh, so it is pi by 8 and this is twice pi by lambda and the path difference is 1 centimeter okay so lambda is equal to 16 centimeter the wavelength of this wave is 16 centimeter and but here we have to find out but here we have to find out the wave velocity we know wave velocity wave velocity v equal to n lambda lambda already being calculated here it is 16 centimeter but we have to find out the frequency you know omega equal to twice uh, sorry 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 omega equal to omega equal to given in this problem omega equal to omega equal to it is given in this problem it equal to 3 pi 3 uh, 3 pi and we know frequency twice pi n equal to 3 pi so frequency of this is equal to 3 by 2 second inverse here we can write 3 by 2 into 16 and finally this is 24 centimeter per second so velocity wave velocity of the wave velocity given in this problem uh, it is 16 centimeter not the right option and 2 24 centimeter per second is the correct option here and 3 4 are not the uh, correct option next uh, uh, let us move to the question number 41 the gas does 4.5 joule of external work during the adiabatic expansion its temperature falls by 2k the internal energy will since the temperature of the gas is decreased since the temperature of the gas is decreased so internal energy also decreases by internal energy also decreases by so increase increase are not the right option here increase increase are not the right option here so in this way we can we can we can 
we can uh, we can make this problem that is uh, op having option 50 50 increase increase are not the right option here you know since the temperature is decreased the internal energy of the gas system also decreases let us see decrease by 4.5 joule decrease by 2.25 joule and because of uh, that you know we have to we have to calculate or you have to you have to use the uh, concept since the process is adiabatic process since the process is adiabatic process no heat no heat is supplied to the system or no exchange taken place no exchange of heat taken place between the system and surroundings so what is the work is done uh, what, uh, the, what is the internal energy decrease you know because of the external work done so work uh, external work is done by decreasing the internal energy so immediately after that you know the 4.5 joule of work during adiabatic process here this work is done by using by utilizing the internal energy so immediately after that if we apply the concept so right option here is two uh, three is not the right option here or if we want to if if you want to calculate then uh, del q is equal to del u plus del w since the process is area b so heat it is 0 del u equal to del w or we can say del u equal to minus del w okay 4.5 joule 4.5 joule we can write here 4.5 joule that is minus means decrease decrease of internal energy so it is not necessary to calculate this problem it is actually based on the conceptual uh, concept uh, conception based on the conception and the questions taken from uh, thermodynamics okay next 42 questions taken from the ray optics the concave mirror of focal length f1 placed at a distance d from a convex lens of focal length f2 a beam of light coming from infinity and falling on this convex convex lens and concave mirror combinations returns to infinity the distance must be equal to for this problem this is also a stereotype problem if you if you solve this problem one time in your life then you uh, can uh, uh, you can find the answer immediately after going through this problem but before uh, but if we want to find the uh, right option here let us uh, let us draw the diagram first okay so you have to uh, draw a diagram to, for your better understanding uh, uh, here the lens is convex lens lens is convex lens and mirror taken and another mirror is concave mirror they are separated by a distance separated by a distance d separated by a distance d okay here we have to uh, a beam of light uh, beam of light coming from infinity beam of light coming from infinity okay it will pass through the since light uh, coming from infinity then parallelize incident upon the convex lens that is converging lens lens it will pass through the focus it will pass through the focus of the lens it is the focus of the lens f is the focus of the lens okay and you know light incident upon the concave mirror these two rays if it is reflected 
after 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 incident upon the mirror the rays incident upon the mirror and after incidence the rays reflected and if this reflection uh, if this reflection taken place in the way if it is reflected back reflected from the mirror in the same path so it will retrace the path it will retrace the same path and finally the rays come out parallelly to the principal axis of the lens so it is it is the parallel incidence and parallel image emergence so if this if this light if we want to get back this light in the same path so that this point and the rays uh, rays must be perpendicular to the surface of the mirror perpendicular to the surface of the mirror clear perpendicularly surface rays must fall perpendicularly to the surface of mirror and if this light pass through the center of curvature center of curvature of the mirror center of curvature of the mirror then it will fall perpendicularly to the surface of the mirror and light will retrace its path and finally comes out parallelly from the lens so this point the focus of the lens must be the focus of the lens must be the focus of the lens must be the center of curvature center of curvature of the mirror center of curvature of mirror and this distance what is the focal length focal length focal length focal length of convergence f2 focal length of focal length concave mirror of focal length f1 so this distance it is twice f1 and this distance is f2 and the right option here is d is equal to d is equal to d is equal to 2f1 plus f2 correct option matches with 3 next problem okay question number 43 a projectile has a range r and time of flight p so before solving this problem i think the relation between r and t we need the relation between uh, range and time of flight here in the case of projectile three basic equation in case of projectile three basic equation i mean it is range range equal to u square sine 2 theta by g time of flight time of flight t equal to 2u sin theta by g and maximum height maximum height you know it is equal to h u square sin square theta by g so these are the three basic equation you need to remember and have to use in the examination hall without deduction you don't deduce this equation in the examination hall and these three three basic equation has the certain relation if we take the relation between r and t then relation is equal to r equal to 1 by half g t square cot theta if we relate between t and h so h is equal to h equal to we can write h equal to we can write it is it is actually 2z h is equal to we can write 1 by 8 g t square and the relation between uh, range and height relation between range and height relation between range and height it is always r equal to 4 h cot theta so relation between r and h r equal to 4 h cot theta relation between r and t r equal to half g t square cot theta and relation between t time and maximum height is equal to i h is equal to uh, 1 by 8 z t square okay so these are the equation very important relation among the 
basic physical quantities that is range, time of flight and maximum height. You need to remember all these formula particularly for the examination hall. You, you have not enough time to deduce this uh, relation in the examination hall. Okay. Here we can say in this problem, this is very simple problem. Very simple problem asked here, you know, R varies as T squared, that is time of flight, and we can write T varies as root R without changing angle of projection if the range is double. Range is double, so time period that is sorry time of flight will root two times the previous time time of flight so right option here is two it is very simple questions but you need all this formula or particularly relation between r and time of flight okay next problem the magnetic flux linked with the coil varies with the time as phi equal to 3t square plus 4t plus 9. So, flux, magnetic flux, phi equal to 3t square by 4, uh, sorry, plus 4t plus 9. Simple question, we have to find out here the induced CMF in 2 second. Okay. So, flux change. Flux change we can write it is equal to okay. So Indo CMF. E equal to d phi dt that is rate of change of magnetic flux. Indo CMF simple questions. Indo CMF is rate of change of magnetic flux. And phi ddt the value of phi given in this problem it is equal to 3t square plus 4t plus 9 and finally it is 6t plus 4 and the value of time given in this problem it is equal to 2 that is 6 into 2 plus 4 12 into 4 that is 16 volt okay and the right option here is 2 problem is taken from the electromagnetic induction that is from the reduced part of the syllabus okay next problem which pattern so correctly represents the magnetic fields lines due to the bar magnet it is simple questions you have to choose the diagram out of these four option and you know magnetic lines of uh, comes out from uh, comes out from north pole and it uh, uh, terminate at the south pole but in the case of magnetic field the lines of force are close lines in uh, outside the outside the magnet that is not to south and inside the magnet south to north so right option here is four next problem density of a non-uniform rod of length one meter is given here density of rod a one plus b t a and B here are the A and B here are the constant. If we take B equal to 0, then we can say rho equal to A. I mean it is constant. Constant means uniform density. Constants means uniform density. And if this rod is uniform, you know. If the rod is uniform, if this rod is uniform of 1 meter, 
then the center of mass center of mass center of mass it is actually it will be at the half of the midpoint of the rod midpoint of the rod so center of mass distance of center of mass is equal to point half meter this is also question based on, uh, based on the um, conception if we apply the conception so we need not to deduce this uh, uh, we need not to deduce the uh, answer or uh, calculate the uh, problem uh, just I have putting uh, sorry sorry I have uh, uh, here uh, the value of B putting here the value of B is zero and uh, the rho is equal to the density of the uh, material becomes A that means constant constant means it is uniform density if the rod is at has a uniform density then the center of mass will be at 0 0.5 meter that is half of half meter of the uh, half meter uh, uh, since the length of the rod is one meter okay and if we go through the option here if we put here b equal to 0 b equal to 0 that is 8 by 3 into 3 8 by 9 if we put b equal to 0 b equal to 0 12 12 by 12 by 6 that is 2 it is not possible b equal to 0 b equal to 0 b0 0, b0 0, that is 3 into 2 means 6 and and uh, 4 into 2 means 8 so 6 by 8 it is also not half if we put here b equal to 0 b equal to 0 in the option 1 if we put b equal to 0 so the value 3 plus 2 in plus 0 by 4 into 3 plus 0 and this becomes 6 by 12 that is half meter so option one is the correct option so without solving through the traditional way if we just apply the simple concept putting b equal to zero then the density becomes uh, uniform and uh, the center of mass must be at the distance from one end is uh, 0.5 meter and in the option if we put the value of b equal to 0 only for this option we get the uh, center of mass that is the distance of the center of mass is half meter so one option one is the right option here so need not to calculate or deduce this formula in the examination hall you just apply this concept okay next problem a sphere and cube and thin circular plate all of same material and same mass are initially heated to same high temperature so rate of cooling rate of cooling d theta by dt it is actually e sigma a t to the power 4 minus t to the power 4 by m into s here m is the mass of the body s is the specific heat of the body is the emissivity sigma is the stefan constant and particularly a is the surface area i must say a is the surface area of the body and t is the temperature absolute temperature of the body and t naught is the temperature of the surroundings it is according to stefan's law and this uh, rate of cooling so this is the actually uh, macroscopic microscopic view of the newtonian uh, newton cooling law and this question is based on the chapter from radiation and it is also from the deleted part okay here sphere cube and thin plate all of same material and same mass so mass is also same material is also same okay therefore we can say rate of cooling is directly proportional is equal to surface area okay plate will fastest and q will be slowest it is not plate will be fastest because plate area is maximum in this case 
since the all having the same mass same density so plate area plate will have the uh, highest surface area plate will cool fastest fastest and cube the slowest in this case plate will fastest but cube is not the slowest here so this is one is not the right option here sphere will cool fastest and cube no 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 this is not the right option here plate will cool fastest and sphere the slowest it is the three is the right option here okay so initially you can you can discard two and four initially you can discard two and four because answer first uh, uh, fastest cooling will be in the case of the plate 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 having the maximum surface area okay and will it will be uh, it will be slowest for the sphere because because sphere if the if any if any material gets the form of the sphere the surface area of the uh, surface area in this case particular case will be the minimum that is lowest value since the sphere having the lowest surface area so cooling rate will be the slowest in the case of sphere and the three is the right option here okay next problem to get maximum current through the resistance 2.5 ohm and 1, one can use M rose cell is having N cells. Internal resistance of each cell is 0.5 and the total number of cells is 20. Here um, M is the number of rows and N is the number of cells in each row and this value is 20 given in this problem for maximum current or maximum current if we if we analyze the theoretical background of the mixed combination of cell we can say for maximum current that is equivalent resistance equivalent external resistance equal to equivalent internal resistance for any kind of mixed combination in electric circuit it is very important maximum current that is equivalent equivalent external resistance will be equal to equivalent internal resistance of internal resistance of cell for any kind of co mixed combination of cell or in the electric circuit if the equivalent of external resistance if it is equal to the equivalent of internal resistance then the current for that particular circuit will be the maximum and the power utilization also will be the maximum it is very important concession you can use this concept directly in any type of mixed prop mixed combination problem or any type of circuit if the question is asked in such way okay so here we can say mr equal to nr and current through resistance 2.5 this is 2.5 rr 2.5 2.5 m and the internal resistance is half n so we can write here 5 m is equal to n 5 m equal to n 5 n equal to 5 m n equal to 5 m if we put m the ratio of m and n it is not 5 the ratio of n, n and m is it is not also 5 the ratio of n and m it is also not 5 so 2 3 4 are not the right option here the ratio of n by m the ratio of n by m is equal to 5 okay and the total number of cell is 20 so right option here is one next problem
Question number 49 in Young double slit, ex, uh, slit experiment, the eighth uh, maximum with wavelength lambda 1 is at a distance d1 from the central maxima. So, for, for nth, you know, for nth maxima, distance of fringe it is n lambda d by a here a is the separation between separation between two slits separation between two slits okay and eight maxima simple questions very simple questions eight maxima it is y 8 it is given d1 and it is n1 lambda 1 it is 8 lambda 1 d by a and for sixth maxima y 6 it is given in the problem it is d2 that is the distance of the cis maxima from the central maxima is d2 and it is 6 lambda 2 d by a and simple question is d1 we have to find out the d1 by d2 d1 by d2 i think it is 4 by 3 lambda 1 by lambda 2 so very simple question asked here it is d1 by d2 d1 by d2 d1 by d2 okay so right option here is 2 don't confuse with the other option be careful it is d1 by d2 d1 by d2 so 4 by 3 lambda 1 by lambda 2 okay next problem last questions of this section b the hard half life period of the uh, radium is 1600 years the fraction of the sample of radium that could remain after the 6400 year this is very simple questions and it is taken from the radioactivity it is also from the uh, deleted uh, part of the syllabi and you know 16 years is the half life and after 6400 year it is already for four half lives uh, so the fraction will be n by n naught it is you know it is four half lives after four half lives the fraction will remain 1 by 16 so this problem is very simple problem and the option is 4 is the correct option and in this way i have discussed all the questions from 36 to 50 that is 15 questions of the section b and i i hope you have got it all clearly and thank you for watching this video